Welcome to the Elevate Life Project with your host, Michael Cohan. At the Elevate Life Project, we are dedicated to inspiring people to achieve their goals and live their dreams to their highest potential. Aim higher. Elevate your life. Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of the Elevate Life Project. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm having a little bit of a head cold, so if you hear me a little nasally, I do apologize, but I committed to posting two episodes a week for the next year without any expectations or attachments, and so I'm going to do the best I can never to miss a week. A large portion of my coaching business is on communication coaching. Yes, I have the foundational coaching part of my business where I coach people on goal setting, time management, balance and self-care, self-discovery, mindset, but I also coach people on communication, how to be more assertive. And part of communication coaching is about learning how to say no. And one of the big areas that I have observed over the years of coaching are when people are struggling to achieve their goals, they have an inability to say no, which causes them to feel unappreciated. And today, what I want to talk about is how feeling unappreciated and how and what you can do about it. Because there's three general places we're likely to feel unappreciated, work, home, and within our relationship. If you're feeling unappreciated, there's a good chance it's within one of these three areas of your life. Children are notoriously unappreciative. Spouses and bosses are often blind to the contributions we make. Even friends and coworkers can fail to show the appreciation we believe we deserve. Everyone suffers from feeling unappreciated at times. Consider these ideas if you're struggling to pinpoint your emotions. So let's first talk about signs that you're feeling underappreciated. You feel resentment towards someone in your life. If you're feeling resentful towards someone, you might be feeling unappreciated. This is especially true if they haven't recently done anything obvious to upset you. If you've been feeling resentful lately, ask yourself why. You feel like you're doing all the work to maintain a relationship. Sometimes it feels like you're doing all the work in a relationship and the other person isn't putting in nearly as much effort. This is a common reason for feeling unappreciated. Relationships are never exactly equal, but the inequality should shift back and forth. Healthy relationships are equal over time, but not all the time. You're not being thanked for your efforts or contribution. We don't have to receive a medal for every little thing we do, but it's nice to recognize our efforts. This can happen at work or at home. You aren't asked for your opinion. When we aren't asked for our opinion, we don't feel valued. When others respect your opinion, they respect you. The other person isn't making time for you. If someone never seems to have time for you, you're likely to feel unappreciated. This is especially true if they seem to be able to make time for other people and activities. Does the list above resonate with you? If you've identified yourself as feeling unappreciated, it's time to do something about it. Follow these strategies and get the appreciation you deserve. Determine what is happening that makes you feel unappreciated. Pin down the times you feel unappreciated. What exactly is happening? Who is involved? What is being said or not being said? Determine what would have to happen for you to feel appreciated. What needs to change? What has to be done or said for you to feel better? Try being more appreciative. This might sound odd, but a good strategy for receiving more appreciation is to give more appreciation. This can be hard to do when you feel that you're not already receiving the appreciation you deserve. Try it and see if this strategy works for you. Be open about your needs. It's always better to communicate your needs than just to remain upset. Tell the other person how you're feeling and why. Be sure to offer a solution and be willing to listen to the response. Consider changing your behavior. 
If your actions aren't appreciated, perhaps what you're doing doesn't matter to the other person. Your time might be better spent in other ways. There's always the possibility that you could consider rearranging life so you can feel more appreciated. In some situations, you're just going to have to accept that you're not going to receive the appreciation you deserve. This often occurs in work situations. Focus on feeling proud of your contributions and be thankful for your paycheck. However, you can often receive the appreciation you deserve if you speak up for yourself. Most people are kind and will correct their behavior once they're made aware. Avoid suffering in silence and get the appreciation you deserve. Thank you for listening to the Elevate Life Project. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like our show, please write us a review. By writing us a review, you will help raise our profile so more people can find our show. Links to our sponsors and other tools can be found on our show notes along with other useful information. For more information on our coaching classes, please visit our website at elevatelifeproject.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, aim higher. Elevate your life.